so um, yeah, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to use uh, Stringer.io to um, transport data, basically. So it's open source ETL. So um, what they are doing, actually, they have a lot of different tabs and targets that's available um, that you could use. So tab means that you can get data from any of these stuff. Uh, so these are already developed. So um, if you're using, for example, Google Spreadsheet or GitHub, there's something information you want, you can grab from there using the Singer um, tab. Um, other thing would be uh, Singer targets, which uh, you use it to put the data in another database. So together, so you, with a tab and target, you can transport data from one to another place. Um, so uh, in Terminus DB, we have actually both a um, Singer IO tab and Singer IO target that works with Terminus DB. Um, but today I'm going to show you how I can transport my data from Terminus DB or Terminus X into um, a Google spreadsheet. So um, first of all, you will need to have a um, target, a single target that lets you put things in the Google spreadsheet. So let's click there. I want a target because I want to put things in Google spreadsheet and view the web pool. So uh, of course, like uh, any cooking show that um, <laughs> I'm not going to start from scratch. Um, so all this stuff actually was already done. Um, so because, uh, you know, Google APIs uh, require some kind of authentication set up that you need to get uh, your client ID, you have to get uh, everything right so you can connect to the service. Uh, I won't go into detail uh, because you know, some of you may be more familiar with it, some of you may be not, but uh, all the instructions are documented. Uh, we also have a tutorial to, to teach you. So if we go to our GitHub repo, here in um, the tutorials here, <laughs> conveniently at the top. So uh, Google spreadsheet, so everything is documented here, uh, to, including everything I show you. So. Um, so uh, yeah, all the steps are documented, so don't worry too much. Um, another catch is that you have to install the tab and target in two different Python environments. A uh, reason being all these tab and targets are developed at a different time and all of, you, uh, all of those actually is depending on um, Singer Python, which is a library that lets you develop all these tab and target, but because the, they are developed at a different time and also the Singer Python is not backward compatible that much. So uh, yeah, so but they will require different versions of um, Singer Python and then um, so they don't like each other basically. So you have to put them into different environment. So uh, it's like, you know, uh, if you keep fish in your flat, then you know that um, some fish, they don't, they just have to be kept in different tanks, otherwise they will fight. So it's kind of like that. Um, so. Uh, after you have set, set that up, uh, the next step would be to um, start a project. So I will start from here to uh, show you actually. So where am I now? So, okay, so I, uh, to start, let me clean this up first. To start, I will go to a new uh, repo that I have set up. So it's called Amo. Uh, yes, so here I have only um, get this client secrets.json, which um, I have done all these steps, right? And then get this uh, client secret. So all these steps basically are teaching you how to get this client secret to let you connect to Google spreadsheet. Um, afterwards, you also need to have a con um, configuration file, uh, which is just um, telling, uh, you know, which uh, Google spreadsheet you are connecting to. So I do have a Google spreadsheet here that I have uh, set it up in the in the JSON file. So actually, can I show you today uh, how to run it? So actually, yeah, we just used the old one. So um, there's nothing here. I've used it before, uh, but I deleted everything. So it's kind of, kind of stuff from scratch. Uh, let me see. So let me grab that uh, config file from there. Um, so I'll copy it from my previous projects uh, here. And then that's called target. So I name it as target config instead of config.json because um, the one that we will be using for Terminus DB is core config.json. So um, to start it, we have to terminus uh, oops, DB uh, start project, right? Oh, by the way, before we start the project, where are the data? So 
the data is now sitting at terminus X. So you see that we have some grades here that uh, basically we have 16 students. So 16 students. So the, they all have like different grades and um, they have their name and then they have their, um, their, their grades and a test result. So um, to, to put this into the Google spreadsheet here, so we want to export it for maybe the teacher or to print out the uh, report cards for the students. So we have to put it here. Um, so, uh, to, so how can I like extract this data? Uh, so uh, that's uh, why we have to know it because that um, we have to connect to Terminus X, right? So we need to know that data is in Terminus X. I want to turn, uh, connect to Terminus X. So if you go to the, here, profile, you'll see um, a beautiful cow duck here <laughs> so, um, that uh, we have to connect. So this is my account. Uh, so it's Terminus DB community. Um, so when I start a project here that uh, I will need to put in the database name uh, as the project name, which is called, uh, if you can see it from here, we have a sneak peek, it would be a uh, grace demo. So here and then the endpoint endpoint is this one here so um, we just copy it from here so all this information to connect to terminus db is uh, uh terminus x sorry is in uh, in your profile so you can just get it here and then come here and then enter the endpoint and then the team would be this one you can see it from your endpoint but it uh, is also shown here so you can copy and paste it so now you have to put in a jwt token um, so I would say that, uh, I would say yes, of course. Um, and then you are giving options that do you want to set it up right now? So, uh, if you have already previously set it up, you don't have to set it up again. Um, but just for, uh, you know, um, yeah, so like I, I have done it before and then uh, of course I don't want to create another one, uh, because then all of you will know my token. <laughs> for obvious reasons, so I would say no now. But if you haven't done it before, say yes, and then just generate a token using this uh, dash uh, dashboard here, and then copy and paste it here, okay? So it's done. So now your project is set up. So if you look at what you have, so you would now have the config JSON, like I said, is uh, from the, um, from, uh, from, from generating the project and then schema.py. So I didn't copy the target JSON properly. So let's do it here. So now I have the target config and also the config. So this will be used by the Google spreadsheet target. This will be used by the terminus DB tab. So uh, one last thing before we go, because um, uh, for this demonstration, the, the database is quite simple because it's just a demo. There's only one thing here, the grades. Um, what if you have a giant, um, you have a giant uh, database that you've got multiple documents, uh, multiple types of documents, and you only want to extract some of them. You don't want to extract everything. Um, so how you can do it is to set up the configuration. So um, just type terminus db config. Actually, if you just type config, you will see the, so this is the, uh, the information is stored in the config file. So this is what we have set up before, right? So which database we are connecting to uh, at the endpoint, the team, and also whether we are using the token. So uh, to add, so to select which um, documents you want to um, export, you have to add another uh, config uh, variable called streams. Okay, so this one will be equals to the name of these uh, document type. So this is great with a capital G. So I would do it like this. Okay. So now if you do a config again, you will see that we have the extra uh, setting here. So this is great. Uh, this is mainly used by the, uh, um, the terminus DB tab to know like which, um, documents to grab. So now this is, uh, ready to go. Remember, we have two separate environment for the tab and target. So um, this is a bit tricky because um, what I got to do, I got to cheat a little bit uh, to grab these command here. <laughs> um, why is it so long? Uh, 
can you actually see uh, maybe it's not big enough so i'll make it bigger so yeah why is it so long uh, reason being because they are in two different environments i have to grab them from different bins so this is the tab uh, terminus db um so we're using the config json that i just show you um and then the other is the target google spreadsheet and then it's using a target config so the target config doesn't really have much so i can actually show you target config is just say that oh which spreadsheet i'm syncing to so this is the uh, spreadsheet it's just you know the, the demo one i show you is empty it's nothing really fancy so um right now we can just uh, copy these command uh, for our convenience and then uh, put it here and then now it's doing something uh, if you are doing it for the first time, you may have to log in. Uh, you know, your browser may open a login page for Google thing. Um, just um, everything is documented here. So you can just check like, oh, what you have to do and things like that. But let's look at the spreadsheet. So you see now we have an extra sheet called uh, grades. And then you see that we have all the grades here, uh, which is very convenient. Uh, if you have multiples, you, you can have multiple streams. They will all sync at once. Uh, for example, you have grades, but you also maybe have um, the, the other things for the students that you have to, for example, this is uh, to be printed at their um, report card. So maybe you need also need to have um, their other things. I don't know what would be on your report card. I've leave school for so long. I don't know. Um, maybe comment from a teacher. <laughs> um, so they are stored in a different um, uh, document type. So you can grab them all at once and then put it uh, together here. Um, it doesn't seem much right now because it's only a uh, very simple structure. Um, but if you have a lot of, like I said, different streams of data, different document types, uh, you have a large amount of data, then um, this is a very good tool. Also, it's super flexible because it is not just working with a Google spreadsheet. In theory, you can pick any of these targets and put the data in, right? You can put it back to Postgrad. You can, you know, if you like SQL, uh, for whatever reason that you have to put it back into a SQL database, you can do it like that. If you want to put it in data.world uh, for a, uh, you know, to share the data, you can do it as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's quite good. Um, I uh, Let me know what you think, I guess. Um, so if you want to know more, join our um, Discord community. Um, also, you know, just follow us on Twitter, I guess. So you will get updates, what's new, um, all these exciting things going on. So hopefully next time when I get the chance, I will show you the reverse, uh, getting data and then put it in, in Terminus DB or Terminus X. So uh, that's it for me right now. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.